Welcome to another boring walking tour of Dublin. No, I'm joking, this one's not boring. This one we take you down through Rathmine, starting off, going straight into the city, and we'll end up in Trinity College and show you a little bit around it. The first thing you will do is cross the Grand Canal at Portobello, straight on down to the right, down Charlotte Way, and across and up into Earl's Fort Terrace on your left. You will come across the National Concert Hall, where lots of big stars have appeared over the years, including politicians who debated the Anglo-Irish Treaty of 1922. It is directly opposite the Conrad Hotel. Going on down now to Stephen's Green East, then we will turn left, passing the Shelburne Hotel, which is one of the most renowned hotels in Dublin, at the top of Kildare Street, which takes you down to Dolairn, the Irish National Parliament. Further down, we will come to the main entrance into Stephen's Green, the archway at the top of Grafton Street. We will turn right here and take you down Grafton Street itself, having a look off to the side at the flower cellars and everything else that's going on in the street. If you like what we're doing, please hit the bell and subscribe and we'll put links to where we're looking at in the description below. We'll be glad of all your comments as well. This is the statue to Phil Linnet from Thin Lizzy, the famous musician just off Grafton Street. Grafton Street is famous for its shops, famous for its variety of shops, and of course Bewley's Cafe is also there, one of the most famous cafes in the world. On Grafton Street we also have Boots, we also have uh, Tommy Hilfiger, we have loads and loads of really good stores, and if you like some jewellery, there's also Weir's as well. At the bottom of Grafton Street, we will cross over and we'll take you here through the entrance into Trinity College. Many famous people have passed through these iconic gates over the years. This is a quadrangle in Trinity College, where the Book of Kells, of course, is one of the biggest attractions. You're advised to book it online, as if you turn up and expect to see it, you may end up in a queue and you may not get in at all, as it could be overbooked. Trinity was created by Royal Charter in 1592, with land donated from the Dublin Corporation at the time. Its design was heavily influenced by two universities in England at the time, Oxford and Cambridge. Its ethos was heavily based on the values of the Church of Ireland, who created stability for the university to prosper and thrive for many, many decades. The university is now multi-denominational, but at the time the university was inaugurated, it was solely for Church of Ireland students. Let's take you into the main hall of the library, where the Book of Kells is kept. The Book of Kells, of course, dates back to around 800-900, where it was inscribed by the monks. By the way, if you like what we're doing, please hit the bell and subscribe. And of course, leave your comments in the comments below. We will, of course, put links to everything we've discussed in this video. As you can see, there are numerous statues throughout the campus. And this one is for a former provost. The beautiful bell tower in the square is one of the biggest features and one of the biggest gathering points of the university campus. Today, Trinity College teaches many disciplines and over the years it has expanded enormously, but it still keeps to the founding traditions of its founding fathers in many ways. One of them being a glass of Guinness at dinner in the evening in the dining hall. They also have a very eventful debating society which is renowned far and wide. Coming out of Trinity, this is a magnificent building of the Bank of Ireland, which was originally the Parliament building for Ireland. If you're enjoying what we do, please hit the bell and subscribe. Please ask any questions you like and we will answer any questions below. Links, of course, in the description below. We're currently now on Dame Street, with Trinity Street there to the left looking westwards. Thank you for joining me today on this short walk from Rathmines to Dublin city centre and we'll finish up with the great statue of Molly Malone. <laughs>